what's up guys, boys and girls, fellow collectors from all around the world. Ivan Seb, the French collector, is back for yet another video, guys. So, a 37-year-old man, you know, filming himself in his basement. Might be a bit awkward, um, but hey, this is where I keep all my empty boxes, my collectibles, figures, statues. I have some shit over there. I have some shit here. Got some other shit here. I run studios. So, you know, the life of a collector ain't an easy one. You know, there's shit everywhere. The reason why I'm down here is, um, well, I was going through some stuff, you know, some boxes that I hadn't opened in years. And I found some interesting shit that I wanted to share with you, dating back from, you know, way back when I was a child, a teen. But also, most importantly, I'm so excited, guys. I am so freaking excited because I found, finally, I found the Scream Ghostface Robe 25th anniversary that was released last year and immediately became quite difficult to find and I, I just found it this week but before i show you this um i want to share some of my love for the scream saga with you guys in my last video actually a few times in the past already on my channel i mentioned uh, halloween the 1978 halloween saying that it was my favorite slasher <clears throat> favorite horror movie of all time which is true. However, Scream cannot come second. Halloween has to share that same spot with Scream. Scream was the first horror movie, first slasher that I ever saw. You know, I was 11 years old. So as far as I can remember, that's my oldest horror movie slasher memory. The other reason is that the first Halloween is um, a masterpiece. Um, however, it was followed by a lot, a lot of very shitty, crappy sequels. Now, Scream, again, the first movie is unbeatable, will forever be the best. It's a masterpiece in this genre. The Scream sequels are either quite good or at least okay, but none of them are really bad. So, Scream wins this part for me. So I opened this box that I haven't opened in quite some time and uh, damn, it's so many memories in there that I'm gonna share with you. But first, a cup of coffee. So here is whatever's left of this uh, ghost face doll. There was some fabric hanging here, you know, the, the robe you could hang at the ceiling. It was a Halloween decoration, I don't know, whatever. Yeah, here's some more serious stuff. This, I don't know how much it's worth now. Probably a lot, I guess, it doesn't matter. I'm not gonna sell it anyway. This is my very first ghost face mask. It's a Scream 2 mask. It has the Fun World stamp here. Uh, vanilla scent. It still smells like vanilla after all these years spent in this box. It turned a bit yellow, not too much. It's really not shocking. It's still in a very good condition. Even the shroud is in a very, very good condition. Damn. Also, after all these years, it still perfectly glows in the dark. Let's try it actually. Hold on. Check this out guys, I don't know how you how well you can see it on camera, but over here, geez, freaking phenomenal after all these years. So this to me is worth gold. I had a few others that I sold, um, but this one, never getting rid of it. Also because, well, that was a present for my mom back in the day because she knew I was such a Scream fan, you know. Uh, Scream 1 and 2 had come out back in the day already. I was, I knew these movies by heart, I loved them. So back in that same era, I also got this mask, the bloody ghost face mask. And believe it or not, it still fucking works. <laughs> it's amazing, jeez. The pump is a heart, a little plastic heart. Freaking insane, right? Holy shit, I cannot believe this looks so cool. So like I said, because this one is so precious to me, 
Um, I don't like wearing it anymore. Um, I, I really want to take good care of it, keep it in a good condition. So in 2015, I bought this one. So I guess this must be a Scream 4 mask and it has the um, Easter Unlimited stamp under the chin. So fun world. Easter Unlimited and then I have a couple of these infamous uh, ultra wide masks which are the cheapest um, quality but they still look cool but the quality obviously is not perfect but um, yeah I still have the tag on this one so that's so far five masks total now again going back 20 almost 24 years I was such a nerd oh my god i had these ghost faced candles those were sold by fun world made by fun world as well so they're still i should have kept the package but at least i kept the blister um i started burning them maybe just a couple minutes because they're still uh almost complete and then i have this candle which is absolutely amazing you have to see this again made and sold by fun world so this one is much bigger than the previous ones and actually this one is amazing because when you burn it the wax in there is red so eventually it looks like blood coming from his eyes and mouth you know what I i'm gonna let it burn for a couple minutes and i'll show you a bit later this is amazing i should have bought more but maybe we can still find them so while the candle is burning there in the back we'll check again in a few minutes is it burning yes it is so I had the voice changer also sold by Fan World. I can't, I, it must be somewhere. It's just not in this box. I don't know where it is, damn it. But remember the voice changer in Scream 3? So that was in 2000, I believe. So I was 15 years old. This voice changer, I wanted a replica. So uh, obviously none was made. None was available, you know, for the collectors, so I made one myself and it looks <laughs> it looks like shit. But at least after all these years, 22 years later, it still works. I was afraid here for a moment because I didn't see I couldn't see the light. But obviously it doesn't change my voice, but it's a bit of a shit replica from, <laughs> from that voice changer in the movie. Well, it's not a replica, but at least it kind of looks like it. At least it has this red light thing here. Damn it. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, it looks freaking insane. So believe it or not, guys, back in that same time, 2000, 2001, I was maybe 15, 16 years old. I uh, directed a... Um, scream fan film a fan made movie right so i had the mask what i didn't have what i still needed was a robe so my mother made me a freaking ghost face robe so guys i'm gonna try it on just to show you my mom's a freaking legend damn it it still fits okay 22 years later look at a big ass hood so it's nowhere near as good as it's supposed to be it doesn't really look like the robe in the movie not even close but you still got quite a few things right so keep in mind my mom isn't a scream fan she isn't even a movie fan right she's not a movie buff like, like i am so she did this for me based on you know scenes from the vhs you know i would just pause the movie show her and so she's still got a lot of things right for example she added a thick layer of foam in the hood to help it keep its shape so the foam is now completely gone on this side it moved up here <laughs> whatever she added a velcro piece of velcro here in the center uh to make it easier for me to take it off something that was added from scream 2 to scream 5 the scream 1 robe was a pullover robe but in Scream 2, 3, 4, 5, they actually had Velcro in the middle. Um, the arms are completely inaccurate. Those arm tatters are not like they're supposed to be. They still look good. They are long as hell. Holy shit. Uh, there's no glove, gloves attached. The bottom here, 
was also uh, made to replicate the Scream 2, 3, 4 robe. Scream 1 had triangles and Scream 2, 3, 4 robes had these squares or rectangles, okay? So that's accurate. I mean, look, damn it. Look at these fucking tatters, holy shit. So still quite intimidating, I guess. Let me try it with a mask. So you see, this robe may not be accurate and to a lot of screen aficionados, this may look like shit now, but it was done with love for me to help me film my fan film. And I'll tell you this guys, for a 15 year old kid to look like this back in the day, that was the shit. To other kids around, I was a freaking legend. So I used it many times for Halloween as well, you know. But now, I got the real shit right here. And so, damn, I'm freaking excited. This is like a dream come true. So some folks might ask, Seb, where can we see this damn fan-made film? It was so embarrassing, I made sure nobody would ever see it. And that's a promise I made to myself that I'll keep. But I did keep some of the shirts <clears throat> of the guys getting murdered in the damn film. It was pretty nasty. <laughs> So I'm not gonna go in depth and bore you with a million details regarding the origins of the ghost face uh, mask and uh, a robe, but I still wanna briefly talk about the basis. So all you Scream fans and experts who know this story by heart already, you can just skip forward. Basically, uh, in the script of the first movie, um, the killer was just referred to as um, killer with a ghost mask or something like that. Can't remember the exact uh, word. Uh, in pre-production, they started drawing all kinds of concepts for what the killer would look like, you know, drawings of different masks and robes and whatnot. But in the end, um, they didn't really like none of them. You know, it, it just wasn't what they were looking for. So three or four weeks before filming started, they still didn't have a costume for their killer. At some point, um, Marianne Madalena, who was producer of the movie, was uh, just visiting houses, you know, shooting locations. And she's visiting this house and she finds this damn mask who actually belonged to, I think, the son of the owner um, of that house. And she was like, damn, this is what we're looking for. It was this mask, but with a white shroud so they started investigating and found that this mask was manufactured by a company named fun world and the rest is history since again the mask was white the shroud was white and in the script it was called killer with a ghost mask well they started thinking okay well maybe the the robe should be white if he's gonna look like a ghost but then they quickly realized that it was a terrible idea because you would immediately see the tiniest little uh, stain with dust, dirt, blood, whatever. So they said, no, it has to be black. But then there was going to be another problem. Uh, how are we going to even see the killer if he's dressed in black, knowing that most of the scenes in which he appears take place in the dark or at night? One day they were just passing in front of a fabric store and they found a fabric called, um, I think the name was Lurex. It was um, thick black cotton, but with metal threads weaved into the fabric. So when you move this damn fabric, depending from where the light comes from, it would just start, you know, sparkle, have this glittery effect, you know? The film came out and as you know it was a huge success so now there were thousands millions of fans around the world who wanted the mask and the robe now fun world only ever made the mask they didn't make the robe so fun world started working on a ghost face robe only based on what they saw in a movie kind of like my mom did for my robe right because they didn't have access to a screen used robe also the robes made for the movie are extremely expensive the fabric is very very expensive and also they're completely handmade hand stitched right so it's impossible for a company like fun world to mass produce the same exact robe 
So for 25 years, Fun World sold a ghost face robe that I don't want to say it looks nothing like in the movie, but with lots of inaccuracies. And also with just a regular black fabric with no sparkly glittery effect whatsoever. Until last year, 2021, for the 25th anniversary of the first movie, where finally Fun World gave us this. So it's still not obviously the same fabric used in the movie, because again, it's impossible to do it, it costs way too much, but they found a way, they managed to get as close as possible with some kind of a metallic thread weaving in there, okay? So let's check this out, okay? I'm really excited. Obviously, I saw it already. I tried it on at the store, right? I had to. Yeah, you see, here we have the gloves already. So, oh my God, this looks freaking insane. Look at this, guys. I'm, I, I hope you can see it on camera, but right now what I'm seeing here is just freaking beautiful. Maybe it's a bit too dark in here, but um, I'll try it on and I'll give you a better look in another room with a better light. So on the screen used robes, the gloves are connected to the wrists, right? But hey, come on, that would really be a pain in the ass. But anyway, so here is the 25th anniversary mask. The only problem is that you could buy it separately. The 25th anniversary mask bought separately would have a shroud. But if you bought it with the robe, like I did, it doesn't have a shroud. Which is kind of uh, stupid because, you know, even with the robe, even with the hood, it's not going to hide my entire hair and ears and whatnot. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to use one of my ultra white masks, remove the shroud and put this one on this shroud. Okay, we'll try this one of these days. The main thing here is the robe. Wow, man, this is freaking beautiful. I love it. I absolutely love it. Damn, it feels really light, but not cheap. Damn, I don't know if you can see how it glitters, but damn, it's freaking beautiful. Damn it. Okay, so the hood has a thin layer of foam, not as thick as the custom robe that my mom did, but it still has a layer of foam in there. This robe is a mix of different scream robes. For example, in the front it doesn't have a velcro to open it. So this is a pullover robe. Those were only used in the first scream movie. However, the arm tatters here are scream 2, 3 and 4. By the way, I cannot mention scream 5 because I've only seen this movie twice right but the four other movies i've seen them countless times so anyway scream two three and four because the on the end they are slightly rounded you see where in the first scream movie they end with squares the bottom is scream one it ends with these triangles whereas in scream two three and four it ends with um like on my previous robe I showed you earlier, um, squares. So, bottom of the robe is scream one, arm tassels or arm tatters, whatever you want to call it, is scream two, three, four, and pullover robe without a velcro, like in scream one. It does have a little velcro just here on the front, but just a tiny little one to make it easier to put your head through, right? but it doesn't open all the way down. Like I said earlier, in the movie, the gloves are connected to the arms. In this case, they put this elastic here around the wrist, so it's really nice. Yo, guys, this is amazing. So the hood is not too big, not too small, just perfect, kind of like in the first Scream, right? Um, no, really, perfect size. Um, the elastic here is really tight around the wrist, so it doesn't move. So even though they're not, the gloves really appear, look like they are indeed connected to the arms. The arm tatters are uh, way too short though. In the movie, they are at least 
uh, twice as long. But really, when you're moving around, you know, nobody's gonna see say, oh my god, they are too short. They look really, really nice. This robe is freaking amazing. So I really want to try this on now with a mask. Damn it, this looks amazing. I've been waiting for this for so many years. If I had this when I was a teenager, I would have been in heaven. This looks freaking fantastic. I'm never gonna wear this uh, for Halloween or whatever, you know? I'm gonna try to find some kind of a mannequin and put this on display with a mask on. This is freaking beautiful. Yo guys, this video has been long enough. If you stayed with me till now, thank you for your patience. I am beyond happy. I am over the moon with this robe, guys. I am in love with it. So now I'm gonna put on a mask. The first bit of coffee. And I'm gonna go to a different room with a better light so you can really see how it sparkles. And uh, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for more videos. Peace and love, guys. Bye bye. So freaking excited. <laughs>